Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. People often ask me, what is a VPN and why should I use one? So we're gonna break that down a bit today and talk about some options in terms of VPN services. But before we get into those, let's break down what a VPN is and why you should use one. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And essentially what a VPN does is it acts like a wall between your device and the network you're connected to. In other words, when you're connected to a network, your device has a unique IP address and every device connected to a network has an IP address. A VPN essentially blocks or masks your IP address with a different IP address. So you may ask yourself, what's the point of that? Well, one, it will prevent you from getting tracked. Websites that have trackers on them will track you through your IP address. So by using a VPN, you're basically putting out a dummy IP address that can't be tracked because your real IP address is masked with a different one. More importantly, if you're ever at a hotel, Starbucks, or anywhere where there's a public Wi-Fi network that has no password, you could potentially be a victim of a cyber attack because anybody, whether they're sitting in their car outside of the Starbucks or sitting in the Starbucks sitting on their laptop, can be hooked up to that network and scanning the network for IP addresses for devices that are connected. And if your device is vulnerable and has no kind of blocking software or firewalls or anything like that set up, you could potentially get hacked into by a malicious individual uh, that knows how to work the system in that way. This is particularly bad in hotels. Frequently hotels have open Wi-Fi networks with no password and someone will literally just sit in a hotel room and scan the network looking for vulnerable devices that they could potentially hack. What's more is you may connect to a uh, Wi-Fi network that says Starbucks public Wi-Fi, but that doesn't mean that that's actually Starbucks's network. Someone could create their own little private network and give it any name they want, and you could be connecting to a network that you think is totally benign, but in fact, there is a malicious individual looking to hack your computer and masks their Wi-Fi network with something recognizable like Starbucks Wi-Fi. So a VPN will serve to prevent that from happening by creating a wall between your device and its IP address and the network you're connected to. I can't stress enough, this is especially important when you're on any insecure public Wi-Fi networks. So with that being said, let's jump in and take a look at some of the options out there in terms of VPN services. So I've just got a few of them pulled up here. There are dozens of VPN services out there. I picked a few, one that I personally use and some that I have some colleagues that use and have good experiences with. And ultimately, what you wanna look for is a reputable company and a good price because more or less all VPN services do the same thing. Now, this is Norton Secure VPN. Uh, if you subscribe to Norton Antivirus, more than likely you have Secure VPN included or you can add it for a nominal price. But if you don't, you can get Norton Secure VPN uh, for a pretty low cost, uh, you can secure up to five devices for $40 annually. You can also pay monthly if you like, but the price is a little bit discounted when you pay uh, annually. In addition, you can uh, register for a single device or up to 10 devices and the price changes slightly. Personally, I use IP uh, IP Vanish uh, for no reason other than when I was re researching VPNs, this was one of the highest rated and the price point was good when I had subscribed to it. Uh, this is, I subscribe annually, so it's around $75 a year, which isn't too bad. Obviously, the Norton is a little bit more cost effective, although with IP Vanish, there's no limit to devices. So I can sign in on as many devices as I want. And I run this on all of my computers and my smartphone, and particularly my smartphone, because that's the one I'm most commonly using on insecure um, Wi-Fi networks. Uh, with IP Vanish, you basically open the app and run it, or if you wanna dive into some of the more techie settings, there's a, a lot of customization in the settings, but you could literally just open the app and turn it on and it will work. Recently, I was doing some research on VPNs and ExpressVPN was one of the highest rated from a few sources. Again, this is very moderately priced. Um, it comes out to about $8 and change per month, so it's more or less competitive uh, with, the, with the other uh, options. This one is $100 a year versus 
uh, you know, the Norton was $60 per year and the IP Vanish was $75 a year. So they're all kind of in the same ballpark, but uh, ExpressVPN, again, has no limit to how many devices. And uh, from what I've read, this is unbelievably easy to use. You just open and turn it on and, and you're good to go. Um, the other VPN options are um, usually a antivirus system like Norton will uh, include a VPN option. I use Avast as my antivirus software on my computer and I'm constantly getting ads popping up to uh, subscribe to the Secure Line VPN. This uh, does have a device limit. You can do a single device or up to five devices, and you can see uh, the breakdown of the prices here. Um, you know, a single year is $60, so it's very competitive with Norton and a little bit more cost-effective when you compare that to IP Vanish or the um, ExpressVPN. Again, ultimately, it comes down to a, a brand name that's recognizable and how much you want to pay. I, I don't think... Any one of these is better than the other because their core function is to block your IP address. Um, and, and any of these will do that. It's ultimately, if you're already a subscriber to Norton, it's probably more cost effective to just add that on. I could just add on the um, uh, VPN through Avast because I already use it as my antivirus system, but I subscribed to IP, IP Vanish maybe five or six years ago and I have it auto renew and that's just the one I use and it's worked perfectly fine for me. So it's definitely useful to use a VPN. I, you know, on your home computer, if you have some antivirus set up and you don't really care that much about potentially being tracked, then it may not be necessary. But if you are a little bit more serious about cybersecurity and you are regularly, let's say, traveling or sitting in a public place that has open Wi-Fi, you're definitely going to want to get a VPN because it's going to prevent any kind of malicious attacks on your devices that could potentially steal private information. So definitely recommend checking out these options, do a little research. Um, and if you end up finding a VPN service that I didn't mention and you have good experience with it, definitely throw it in, throw it in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to check it out and, and give my two cents. So I hope you found this helpful today. As always, hit that subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon and check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, private lessons, and summer camps. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.